Hi guys and happy Wednesday. It is Beth. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing. We do lots of Disney content here in case you hadn't figured that out already. Today we are testing out a new lens on our camera so things might look a little bit different. Let me know if they look good or if they look bad. I don't know. Still trying to figure out the best possible settings for making this video. It's definitely getting harder, especially because today it is super gray outside in Chicago. Does not look good. Fall is here. So yeah, fall is officially here, which makes filming a little bit trickier because we're losing light faster and faster each day. Soon enough, I'll probably be having to film all of my videos at 9 in the morning to get good enough lighting. But today I did want to just make a quick little update. Last week I posted about going to the release of the Mickey Memories. It was my first time ever going to a release. I had also stayed up online to try to get everything beforehand. I was successful in getting all three items online, but then I wasn't sure if my items would actually be cancelled or not because I know Disney is quite notorious for doing that, and since this was my first release, I really had no idea what to expect. If you guys watched that vlog, you'll know that I was able to get the mug and the pin set, but the plush had sold out by the time we showed up. Luckily, my online order did not get cancelled. Super excited to have him. I'm going to show you guys all three items from the September release up close in just a minute, but let me say... Meepo! My cat's trying to play with grocery bags. So let me start by saying, if you are going to try for the online release, definitely use both a computer if you can and your phone because I had pulled up originally just my laptop because I just personally work a little bit faster at typing and finding things and I was waiting at 2 a.m. for everything to be released. I was checking all of the Facebook groups as well because I honestly, I didn't know if it was gonna just pop up on the home page, if there is a special landing page I had to go to. So people were starting to kind of post some of that information as time got closer, but I had no idea. Luckily, I was also just updating the Shop Disney app over and over again, and it appeared on the app pretty much right at 2 a.m., which is midnight Disneyland time. I think it was maybe like five minutes past, and I was able to submit my order, get that all confirmed by like 2.09, I think is like the timestamp on the email when it actually came through as my order being confirmed. And I posted in the group that it was up, I was successful, and no one else could see it on their app. It still wasn't up on their normal website, and I got really <laughs> concerned that my order was for sure going to be cancelled because maybe it had released too early or something weird had happened and I had no idea. But it wasn't until like another like 10-15 minutes later that people started posting all of the direct links to be able to buy it. By that point the homepage had updated and you could see the Mickey Mouse memories on the front but none of the links were actually clickable. I actually stayed up to see how long it would take for the website to go live and become purchasable, and I want to say it was like really close to like 2.30, so 30 minutes past the actual supposed release time, and by that point in time, when I was finally able to click on the link, it said that the plushes had sold out already. So all of the people who were able to guess the direct link and start ordering them, and then the people that were finally able to get it to load on the app, obviously were able to purchase everything, and yeah, it's kind of crazy to me that by the time it actually showed up on the website, it was sold out. So really glad that I was sitting there on both the app and kind of checking the Facebook groups, because otherwise I would have been sitting there for like 30 minutes just to find out that everything had sold out, and I would have been really sad because like I said, this was the first time I had ever done this, and it was really the only month that I wanted. So let me show you guys. I will start with the plush, just because he is so cute, and he is the main thing that I wanted from the series. I am sure most of you have seen him by now, but this is the Mickey for September. He is representing the 1990s. I am a 90s baby, it is when I grew up and my Disney childhood prime, so I just love this one. 
He looks straight out of Saved by the Bell. I know everyone has been saying that and I just really love him because the mall that was like in the city I grew up in, the food court was decorated just like this for the longest time. It had these really bright neon colors, the like zigzag and squiggles and everything. And they only recently kind of updated the food court to look more modern, maybe like five or so years ago. And so I just love this. It just feels so nostalgic for me. I was really surprised by the texture of this plush. It's definitely more like a printed vinyl material and not really plush-like. So he's definitely more of a collector's item rather than like a child's toy, which for the prices that these go for, I don't think many kids will be playing with them. Here you can see the little details on the shoe. And there is the Mickey Memories little patch at the bottom there. So yes, super happy that it worked out and that I was able to get him. I am kind of thinking about maybe trying for the next few as well. Maybe I'll just go for like the decades that I was actually living. I know Johnny really likes the one coming out in October and October is his birth month. It's very millennium themed. Mickey kind of looks like a computer circuit board. So that was pretty fun. It's kind of like Matrix Mickey. I am shooting a wedding on that Saturday, so I won't be able to stay up for the release. So that'll be kind of up to Johnny whether or not he gets it. But then I think November actually looks really classy because it's all a very kind of neutral color palette. And then I also just really <laughs> like December because he is all hollow and he is just extra AF and I love him. So I'm pretty sure we're going to try to get the next three as well, but we'll see what happens. So with the release each month, there is obviously also a mug and a pin set. Here is what the mug looks like. It basically just looks like the pants part of Mickey. I'm not going to open this up and show you just because I am actually getting rid of the mug because I didn't really care that much to have it. I really just wanted the plush. But it is a really heavy mug and they do actually all stack into each other which is really great for storage purposes by the time you have 12 mugs at the end of all of this. And here is the pin set. I will be keeping these, but we did pick up a second set for trade. The first one features Mickey looking just like the plush. Then we have the Mickey Mouse logo. And then there is Mickey winking in front of the little pink triangle with the kind of mustard sauce yellow zigzag. So these are really cute. I don't really have any of the other months from this set, but I am really glad that I was able to pick this up as well. So when all of that stuff got mailed to us, we also had a few surprise pin releases mailed to us from Shop Disney as well. So I figured I'll go ahead and just unbox these for you right now. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen these as well. This is the new designer collection. So when I first saw these get released, I wasn't too sure if I liked them or not. I actually thought that they were epoxy pins. They are metal pins with the design printed on them, so that makes them a little better in my opinion. So there are two sets to this series. There's set one and there's also set two, which I'll show you guys in a second. I really love just basically one pin from each of the boxes, so I'm not too sure if we will be putting these up for trade or selling them. We're actually gonna be hosting a live sale on Instagram in another two weeks, so if you're interested, definitely follow me over there and watch along for that. So in this set, I particularly liked Snow White, so I'm gonna go ahead and just open this and scan across all of them for you. So there you can see Snow White, 1937. She definitely looks like she is wearing some sort of an art deco type of dress. I just think this pin is really pretty. Next, we have Cinderella representing 1950. This is actually the pin that Johnny likes the best just because he likes all of the shading done in the blue. But neither of us are really big Cinderella fans or collectors, so we will probably be putting her up for trade or sale. And then we have Ariel, which is my birth year, woo, 1989. So obviously Ariel is my favorite princess, but there's something a little too 80s glam rock about this Ariel that it's just not really my favorite pin. It is cool, but it just really would not fit in with my Ariel collection at all. 
but these pins are definitely higher quality than I thought they would be. So I am actually glad that we were able to pick up a set of these. So here we have the second set. And this set features Belle, Jasmine, and then Tiana. A lot of people were really confused by this and they were thinking that it was Pocahontas. I think Shop Disney actually put the wrong description up and told people it was Pocahontas, but it is most definitely Jasmine. And I will show you a close up of these right now. Here you can see Belle. She is the other pin that I really, really like from this collection. There's just something so pretty about her off the shoulder dress. I love her hairstyle and the little like wispy piece in front. I don't know, I just think she looks incredibly pretty in this. Here we have Jasmine. She is rocking the magic carpet and she's got a little Raja on her bag. Definitely, definitely Jasmine, 1992, not Pocahontas. I think Pocahontas came out in 94. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I was like maybe five years old because I really loved Pocahontas as well. But definitely Jasmine. And then last, we have Tiana. I actually really love her outfit as well. It's kind of 50-ish to me or kind of dapper looking. I would love it a whole lot more if it didn't have the big flower right here on her little lapel or shoulder. I'm not quite sure how she's supposed to be wearing this but I do think it is a good representation of her. Here is the back of Belle, no waffling or anything like that. It just says Disney pin trading and the limited edition size of 4,800, which is a really large edition size. I'm actually really surprised that these sold out as fast as they did. Okay guys, that is it for today. Just wanted to show you the stuff that arrived from Shop Disney. Super excited to have the Mickey memories. I am just, so thrilled that my order didn't get canceled. I was seriously just like checking my email constantly for the next like two or three days until I got that shipping confirmation. Buki is also here, super excited about, well, basically that we got a new Shop Disney box for her to play in with some packing materials for a little bit till it goes down to recycling. But all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video so much. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up let me know down below what you guys think of the designer collection. Did you guys pick up a box? Are you gonna look for them? Who is your favorite? Like I said, I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be... <laughs> Buki! <laughs> like I said, not entirely sure which ones we're gonna trade, keep, or put up for sale, but we will be figuring that out very soon. Before you click away, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I will not be posting a pin mail video on Friday. Did I surprise you guys on Monday? Pretty sure we're gonna be keeping it to Monday just because it makes it a whole lot easier for me. And I think it's kind of a fun way to start off the week because Monday's usually not a very fun day for people anyways. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.